Once upon a time in Hollywood, at MGM Studios to be exact, there was an era in the history of dance that we will never see again. Those of us who dance today look back on that period with great affection and admiration. To explain this era is one of its finest dancing talents, Mr. Ray Bolger. When I completed filming The Wizard of Oz in 1939, I packed up my scarecrow outfit and answered the call of Broadway. I was lucky enough to bounce from one hit show to another, so I became only an occasional visitor to Hollywood. I dropped in on MGM during the mid-40s to co-star with the then grown-up Judy Garland in The Harvey Girls. What a joy that experience was. But the changes I saw on my return here were astonishing. MGM had assembled more creative musical artists at this studio than anywhere else at any other time. The top musical directors, producers, writers, composers, choreographers, conductors, arrangers, designers, the list was endless. You could dive into that pool of talent and never hit bottom. Which is probably why most film historians refer to the 40s and 50s at MGM as the golden years of the movie musical. When it came to dancing, the studio seemed to have the market cornered. On its roster during this era were such versatile performers as Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland. George Murphy. Eleanor Powell. Gloria De Haven. Van Johnson and Lucille Bremer. Lana Turner and Ricardo Montalban. Ann Miller and Tommy Rawl. Sid Cherise and James Mitchell. Vera Ellen. 18-year-old Leslie Caron. A whirling, twirling, acrobatic dancer named Russ Tamblin. Jane Powell and Bobby Van. Lucille Ball. June Allison and Ray McDonald. Marge and Gower Champion, the movie's last great dance team. And somewhere behind all that confetti are Debbie Reynolds and Bob Fosse. During the 40s and 50s, I think MGM was determined to make their competitors insanely jealous. The studio had the number one dancer and the number one dancer. Two gentlemen whose styles were considerably different but whose contributions to the screen have never been surpassed. When Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly sat in this theater and watched their efforts up there on that screen, I don't think they ever were entirely pleased. Perfectionists seldom are. Kelly and Astaire were and are a tough act to follow. But when they're up there on that big screen, they're a great act to watch. And they always come prepared. Fred Astaire reached the zenith of his screen dancing in a series of memorable MGM films made in the 1940s and 50s. Royal Wedding boasted one of those splashy production numbers that movie audiences had come to expect in an Astaire musical. Choreographed by Nick Castle and directed by Stanley Donan, it was the kind of dance extravaganza that Technicolor seemed invented for. Best of all, it offered a great opportunity for Fred's young co-star, Jane Powell, to display her remarkable versatility.
everyone's favorite musical. It's certainly mine. The multi-talented Gene Kelly will always be remembered for his contributions to this classic film. It was choreographed and directed by Kelly and Stanley Donan. And this number with Gene and Donald O'Connor is one of the very best tap dance routines ever put on film. Delighted audiences and critics alike. Directed by Richard Thorpe and choreographed by Hermes Pan. It starred Fred Astaire, Red Skelton, and the lovely Vera Ellen. This number, Thinking of You, is a prime example of the Astaire style. A beautiful song, a simple setting, and two graceful dancers. Invitation to the dance was the result of Gene Kelly's personal vision and persistence. In this never before shown footage, Gene and Carol Haney danced against a blue background, which will later be replaced by animation.
Harold's presence is to help guide the MGM animators in creating a cartoon dancing partner for Gene. Nearly two years in production, Invitation to the Dance is the most ambitious all-dance film ever attempted. It will always stand as an extraordinary piece of filmmaking by a master craftsman, determined to share with his audience the artistry, the exhilaration, the sheer joy of dancing.